You are looking for a solid mid-size controller for your video switcher with just the right buttons for your setup. And you want to control sources and work with graphics and maybe adjust audio channels. And you want feedback on your controller and you need a panel that tells you what's going on in your system. And finally, you're probably dreaming about that magic button that makes it easy for you to do just that special action you need. Maybe even on a different piece of equipment than your video switcher. You get all of this with the Skahoy Lifefly. The Lifefly has 17 elastomer four-way buttons with OLED displays. It has also two encoders and a transition fader and four dedicated buttons for classic switching operations. And the four-way buttons can be set up to accept presses on the left and the right and the bottom and the top edges. And that gives you the possibility to transform any button into a little joystick, a menu navigator or even a volume rocker. And the OLEDs tell you what the buttons do, like what camera you'll select or which key the button activates. And the OLEDs can also give you feedback like what the current volume of a source is or if your recording has already started. The controller is connected with Ethernet and this is a key feature because it enables you to control your system from anywhere. And we ship the Lifefly with default configurations that make it easy for you to get started. So all you need to do is to type in your IP address and you're good to go. At the time of this recording, we support Blackmagic ATEM switches, TriCaster, Livestream Studio, vMix, OBS, Panasonic and Roland switches. But remember you can also control any of the many brands of routers, video recorders or tally systems that we support. And finally, we allow you to take control of the keyboard and mouse of a Mac or PC by installing the KeyBridge application. Here we are connected to a Blackmagic 2ME ATEM switcher. We can press any button on the lower row to bring that source onto preview and then we can press the cut button to bring it to program. And of course we can program these keys to instead bring sources directly to program if that's what we want. In the upper row of buttons we have access to keyers for instance. But we can use the button U2 to page through a number of menu options for these buttons. So you see now we select auxiliary sources or we can go here and select media files in the media player. We can execute macros and we can also adjust audio. We can even set the settings of the digital video effects processor in the ATEM switcher. And if we go to the audio tab, you see how the volume of each input channel can be adjusted on these four way buttons. So by holding the right edge, I'm turning up the volume. I can turn down the volume again on the left edge. And you even see the little LED bar underneath providing confidence monitoring of the audio. Here we are connected to Livestream Studio and we have set up the software with eight sources and you can see their names in the OLED displays. And press any of these buttons to bring that source to preview, then press cut to bring it to program. And you can of course make an automatic transition or you can use the fader to do a manual transition. This key is a menu paging key. If you press it, you see how this row of button changes functionality from media player control to muting audio sources, even adjusting the volumes and then back to selecting the graphics here. And these buttons will start and stop streaming and recording. And over here, you can adjust the volume of your stream and your recording output. If you want to know more about the Lifefly, please click the link in the description. And if you like this video and want to see more, please subscribe to our channel. And if you want to get started using your Lifefly, check out the Unisketch training videos. Finally, if you have any questions, always send us an email at info at